And fans are putty in his hands. <laughs> See, I told you I had a million of them. Aiken. Yep, talk to Clay Aiken about his Christmas special live from New York when we come right back. So don't go anywhere. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light from now on our true. And you're back with Colorado and Company. Never before has someone who lost a competition soared to such great heights. Clay Aiken's loyal fans are getting something very special for Christmas this year. It's a musical special starring Clay and some guy named Barry Manilow. And Clay Aiken is with us now live. Clay, I have to tell you, I also work at a radio station, Cozy 101, here in Denver. And the female fans that love you and are so loyal to you, it's crazy. They are loyal. <laughs> yes, they're very, they're very supportive, yes. How does it make you feel? Because, uh, you know, uh, before American Idol... You were just a simple, kind of shy guy, and now you have women of all ages just <laughs> wanting a little piece of you. And many of them over the age of 18. Yes. Yeah, and, and, I'm, uh, and I'm still just as shy and probably more um, surprised by it than anybody else. I mean, three years ago, no one would, no, one, no girls knew my name, much less shouted it, so uh, it's quite interesting to be where I am now. <laughs> How cool is it to be Biddle, uh, this Bill here, and Barry Manilow's like, the second or third fiddle. It's really a Clay Aiken Christmas. How how surreal is that for you? Yeah, that's a little strange. You know, um, we we did a rehearsal with Barry and Yolanda uh, and myself, and it, it was it took me about five minutes to come to and, and think, oh, sing because I was just standing in awe of both of them being in front of me and and performing and uh, and and singing with me. It was it was it was really um, very surreal. I think that's the only word you used it once, but I think that's the only word I could uh, I could think to use. It's going to be a fantastic special. Are you going to have, I know before you were on American Idol, you did a lot of work with handicapped children. Are you going to invite any special guests to the performance? We, it's, you know, we've already taped it, so it's done. Um, we, uh, we had a lot of kids in the audience, um, kids with, uh, uh, with and without disabilities, and we had, um, uh, it, was, it was an invited crowd. Um, but uh, it's, it's already finished. I'm actually on tour right now, um, and so I'll actually be in Boston when it's, when it's taping. I think we're going to stop, we might end up having to stop the, uh, the Boston show and just watch the special instead. But I was going to say, are you going to watch <laughs> well, it? Well, I'll watch together. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh -huh. um, Tell us you, what Christmas was like growing up, and were you the person they always came to and said, Oh, Clay will sing a little Christmas carol now. Uh -huh. my, my, grandmother always want, my grandmother wanted me to learn how to play piano so that I could, uh, so that I could sit around the piano and sing, and everyone could sing with me. But, um, but I, never, I took piano for about an hour and a half, and then I had to quit. <laughs> so um, so no, uh, no, no piano. But nobody, everybody in my family is tone deaf anyway, so I don't think that um, they'd want to they'd hear anybody want to hear them sing. <laughs> Well, you may have only taken piano for a couple minutes, but what about dance lessons lately? Because you seem a lot more comfortable on stage now than when you were uh, on American Idol. <laughs> you don't want to see me dance. That's not going to happen either. <laughs> <laughs> you found a little time to uh, write some thoughts on paper. Tell us about your book. Um, it, you know, it's just it's a reflection um, on the last 26, 26 now years, um, and and the people who um, who I who I've met, or people who I knew, grew up with, um, or who just uh, whose paths just crossed mine, uh, experiences that I had, and kind of how I believe that those people and experiences shaped who I am today, and I think um, how God uh, put me on a path that I am um, that I'm on, and, and placed me where I am, and and um, and each step along the way, what it, what it meant to uh, to me, and, and who I've become. So it's it's a reflection. My mom always said every experience that you have every person you meet you should learn something from so it's kind of just um, an it was an opportunity for me to sit down and say what did I learn from this experience and and, uh, and just share that what have you learned from us <laughs> <laughs> well, where, who am I talking to yeah. <laughs> I knew it that's so sad hey real quick I want to touch base uh, with you about the foundation that you created also the Bubel Aiken um, Foundation the right um, the Bubel Aiken Foundation is um, is a foundation Designed to uh, to help include kids with disabilities into into programs with kids without disabilities. It's a uh, it's a um, kind of a a new mission that no, that no one else um, has. We have um, camps today for kids with disabilities and camps for kids without disabilities. But our goal is to to include kids with disabilities with kids without disabilities because socially, kids with disabilities um, learn so much more when they're when they're 
um, involved with their non-disabled peers, and the same the, and the same way um, around uh, for for non-disabled peers, they learn a lot about acceptance and tolerance and and different uh, populations when they're included with kids with um, disabilities. So that's our goal. We've got camps in uh, we had camps last summer in Kansas City and uh, in Raleigh and Charlotte, North Carolina. We're expanding this year to New York, to Miami, and and, and hopefully one day to to Colorado as well. That's wonderful. That's fantastic. And before we leave you, I mentioned Claymates and how women go crazy for you. I have to admit that my mom is a big fan of yours, so if I wouldn't have you say, Hi, Jenny, she would kill me right now. So, Clay, could you just do that for me? Hi, Jenny, but what about you? Are you not one? <laughs> I love you, Clay. I love you. I want to tell you. No. <laughs> I am a big fan. You know, you are a, a big present under the Christmas tree, the Clay Aiken Holiday Christmas CD. So. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. She actually paid money for it, We have a DVD too, of the Christmas special, too. Very, very oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. All right, a Clay Aiken Christmas is on Channel 9 on Wednesday from 7 to 8 p.m. It features music from Clay's first Christmas album. He'll be joined by... Barry Manilow and two-time Grammy winner Yolanda Adams. <laughs> Aiken's Christmas album, like we just mentioned, is a must-have for Claymates, but if you don't like to put it up uh, with the crowds at the mall this time of year, well then why not go elsewhere to buy your gifts? Jill Cordes says to simply start with a trip to the grocery 